Good morning, Azeroth. Good morning, Azeroth. I am Neil, your friendly warrior tank from Medivh, and I help people learn achievements. And this is Good Morning, Azeroth, for Friday, the 27th of January, 2017. Neil's attempt to bring the news from all around the world of Warcraft. And first up, the world race is heating up, and there is shenanigans going on. Shenanigans going on with the world first race. Uh, first off, an update on the leaderboard. Uh, in your top spot and we've got um, eight teams at seven of ten mythic eight teams have cleared seven of the ten mythic bosses including serenity limit exorcist method from scratch pieces entropy and afkr uh, all eight of those teams are seven of ten mythic now uh, there are five teams back at six of ten including midwinter honestly prestige gaming danish terrace and openness and several more, many more back at 5 of 10 Mythic. Uh, the shenanigans started yesterday, I believe. Yesterday, uh, some fanboys, it appears, of Serenity, the Guild Serenity, wanted to uh, mess with Method in their attempt to progress through the Mythic raid. So, uh, they all went in to the dungeon, I'm sorry, the raid uh, instance on Terran Mill, the instance, uh, the, 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 the server that Method is on in the European Union, uh, had a whole bunch of groups go into the Terran Mill instance of the Nighthold and get to the boss that is uh, the High Botanist and uh, just spawned a whole bunch of flowers uh, in that instance. So if you're familiar with the mechanics, there's a mechanic where the boss picks a person, uh, they have to be dispelled, a little flower pops out and fixates on people. If those flowers get to those other people, they um, put a buff on them that has to be dispelled and more flowers pop out. And uh, I think they found last week during running through normal and heroic, if a bunch of groups are at that boss and a bunch of flowers are spawning, it causes a ton of lag on the server. And for about two hours, we are told, uh, Method uh, had trouble advancing in the Mythic raid because of the lag in their server instance. Uh, so the fanboys from Method weren't very happy about this. Um, they, they blamed Serenity for it, whether that was true or not. I'm uh, not sure if there's confirmation of Serenity fanboys being behind it, uh, but uh, the Method fanboys uh, decided to do something in response, in retaliation. So, uh, so one of the Method fanboys uh, actually transferred servers to the Twisting Nether server that Serenity is on, uh, did a name change, uh, whispered one of the active raid members in the mythic progression team of serenity and said uh basically hey i've got uh, all these uh flasks i'd like to give you to support you guys in your chase towards the world first uh why don't you group up with me so i can give you these flasks and unbeknownst to the serenity raider uh, the guy was sitting right outside the instance of nighthold as soon as he grouped up he um walked in the instance accepted the mythic lockout and uh, sat in the instance for about two hours until a uh, uh, GM, Game Master, came in and booted him out of the instance and um, basically gave them a 24-hour ban. Uh, now this is interesting. Interesting thing about this is Serenity is still at 7 of 10. We are not sure if the mythic lockout that the uh, method fanboy hijacked uh, would still be active as soon as the ban is over he could walk inside the instance and keep them from progressing if they have not downed another boss and they have not yet uh, according to well progress downed another boss so shenanigans afoot in the mythic world first race and wanted to let you guys know about them uh if someone wants to trade you flasks just because i wouldn't team with them uh especially if you are progressing through mystic dungeons now or mythic rates um i thought it, you know the these kinds of things may uh eventually come up on round first races uh certainly uh i could see this sort of thing happening on the round first races just the same uh, if Blizzard doesn't retaliate uh, do something more serious than a 24-hour ban on the folks doing these things. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, curious to see what Blizzard does about these things. So that's our top story. That's our top story. We do have a couple of other stories to tell you though. Uh, 
7.2 artifact power. So we did mention earlier in the week that in 7.2, uh, and I'll just read the blue post. As many of you have noted, patch 7.2 will be introducing several new traits to artifact weapons. We'd like to clarify how these traits will unlock so you can best prepare for them. After patch 7.2 is available, players who have an artifact weapon of at least rank 35, so that's all the 34 uh, main traits and one trait into the bonus trait uh, that you can put 20, uh, 20 points into, uh, so if you've got at least 35, you will be able to further empower that artifact weapon through a short quest chain. Completing this quest chain will consume any ranks beyond 35, increase the overall power of your artifact weapon to ensure that losing ranks 35 plus isn't a downgrade, and unlock access to the new 7.2 traits. Any artifact power spent on traits beyond 35 will be refunded and you'll immediately be able to spend that refunded artifact power on the new traits. So uh, you shouldn't worry that um, putting points into your artifact weapon post point 35 will be a waste. Uh, they will not be going away. You're going to get all that artifact power refunded to you after this quest chain and then be able to spend it immediately on, I believe, there are 15 new traits that are coming with 7.2. Uh, so that would mean if you're somewhere around 50, uh, you can immediately put, uh, pick up all of the new traits and then start re-applying uh, uh, artifact power to the bonus trait. Note that any artifact power tokens acquired before patch 7.2 will not be usable on an artifact weapon that has had its new traits unlocked. If you've already reached rank 54, feel free to use any tokens you earn between now and then on alternate specs. There's no need to stockpile these tokens for patch 7.2. We're also planning to apply a hotfix in the near future that will allow the current artifact power tokens to be sold to vendors. Please feel free to add any feedback, questions, or thoughts to this thread. Uh, so, uh, just they just want to be clear on what's going to happen in 7.2. Uh, there's no reason to stockpile artifact power, uh, either now or in anticipation of patch 7.2 coming. Uh, go ahead and max all of those artifact weapons out, get them up to 54. That's the best thing that you can do. If you've maxed out your main spec weapon, go ahead and spend them on the alt spec weapons. Get those up to as high as you can go. And if you max out all two, three, or four weapons, depending on your class, uh, go ahead and vendor the artifact power uh, to the vendors that they'll be introducing soon. Uh, so hopefully that helps folks out. And then one last bit of news. Uh, be careful with your essences. Quick update here from the development team. The quest for the essences of Amethul is currently working as intended, and any essences over the limit will continue to be reset as is normal quest function. It's worth noting that this quest was designed to be able to complete it within, without too much time spent on it, so we don't see it necessary to adjust the quest to account for min-maxing. TLDR, if you're worried about going over the 50-50 limit, keep an eye on your essences going Forward. So this is uh, the Essences of Amethul, which is the uh, requirement to upgrade your uh, eye level 910 um, uh, uh, legendary weapons. Uh, it's repeatable. It requires you to get 50 Essences of Amethul, which can be picked up in Emissary Caches and or uh, the Raid. I think there are other ways PvP people might have some ways to get it as well. Uh, when you go, go over 50, anything that you uh, collect over 50 uh, essentially goes away until you go in and turn in the quest and reset it. So what they're saying here is that's working as intended. Turn in the quest as soon as you can uh, after you get past 50 uh, and then start collecting more for the second or third or fourth or however many uh, legendary weapons or legendary items that you have. Uh, and uh, as a note, let me see here, on my main character I am 46 of 50 Essences of Amethul, which means I will probably hit 50 today. Uh, last week we killed 5 of the 10 bosses in Nighthold. I've done all the emissaries since, and that's how I've gotten to 46 uh, within, so what is this, a week and 3 days? Um, so I will be hitting 50 probably uh, sometime in the night hold tonight. So if I don't zone out tonight and go turn in the quest and uh, reset it, I will 
uh, be collecting essences for nothing essentially uh, as that will reset once I go uh, turn in my quest so just uh, a couple of blue posts regarding two quests that people are on that's the news for today if this video has helped you out go ahead and like and share the video if this didn't help you out at all just unlike the heck out of it that is cool also keep up with me i'm on twitch twitch tv the neil streaming live to the internet right now go to the stream throw up a follow appreciate the follows i'm on open raid that's where all the cool events that i'm leading are um you can sign up for them there uh today we'll be doing black rock foundry achievements tomorrow mythic black rock foundry mythic hellfire citadel sunday emerald nightmare achievements horde side and the emerald nightmare heroic fun run monday black rock foundry achievements horde side uh, if you're interested in those, go to openrate.zergid.com and sign up. Also, I'm on Facebook, and I'll friend you back. I'm on Twitter, and I'll follow you back. I'm on YouTube, and I'll subscribe back. I'm in a guild. Shatteredfates.com is the website. Shattered Fates on Medivh is the Alliance Guild. Shattered Fates on Exodar is the Horde Guild. If you're on either, you can join either. We're more Alliance than Horde, really, but we've got both. Also, Patreon.com, the Neils, that's where people are helping Neil, helping the people earn some more achievements, and we appreciate them for as little as two bucks a month. You get thanked every time we do a program, and other cool rewards over there at Patreon.com, the Neils. Uh, thanks to our patrons, they make this possible. Ragnar, Azuki, and the Random One, Neil, Adafluzzi, Tendra, Mova, Ocean Captain, Holy Fox, Carl, Lucky Bee, Infinitron, Darla, Saika, Mystery Patron, Shigen, Pantheria, Equin, Suucha, Morasha, Petsy, The Beer Guy, Lean Beef, Coco, Naughty, Jorfi, Azurea, Nosa, J, Divad, Shimei, Fuggle, Delthanor, Tigersong, Mystical, Zelo, Kalai, Jedi, and now, Aramava. Welcome to the crew, Aramava. Uh, thanks to the patrons. Y'all have fun storming the castle today, and remember, Fire is still bad. This X-Pack, y'all have a great one.